So the lessons we've got coming up over the next few weeks are under the title Multiplicative Reasoning, which is about the connection between multiplication and division. You'll see how they're interrelated, how they're linked to addition and subtraction. Um, it's going to allow you to be really creative. It, it's not about teaching you how to calculate, though. Uh, that's something you'll have done in school in lots of different ways, but we're going to explore. Uh, it's going to really deepen your understanding. The thing that I should say is you might look at some of the tasks and think, oh, but I know an easy way to calculate the answer. But we're, we're, that's not a problem. What we're looking to see is how rich connections you can make between different areas. It's going to allow you to be really creative and we've got some amazing things to explore. To start off with, we're going to have a look at the link between multiplication and addition and subtraction. Uh, it's going to be great to see you make those connections. Enjoy, enjoy. Well, you know me, I always like to start with some of the examples that have been sent through. And here's a cracker from Dexter. So this is one of uh, Dexter's Venn diagram that, that he sent through last week. Uh, pause the video. And um, what are the headings for each of the sections of the Venn diagram? OK, let's have a look. I wonder if you got them. Well, the, uh, the area on the left, that is the colours of the traffic lights. And the ones on the right, they are the colours of a rainbow. Of course, black fits in neither section. Red and green are the shared colours. Uh, great example. Thank you, Dexter. Um, we'll fit some other examples that you've sent through in as the week goes on. Um, and we're going to introduce our new theme for this week around uh, multiplication and division and all the reasoning there with a how many dots task. Um, so have a look. Pause the video. How many dots do you see? OK, now... I'll tell you how I went around working this one out. I'd actually thought, well, in each of these squares, there are 24. There's four lots of six. And then there are five lots of 24. I like doing five times 24 by doing 10 times 24 and then halving. So it's the same as five lots of 24, 120 dots. Another thing you could do is think, well, how many dice are there? There's five um, lots of four dice. And um, so that's 20 dice faces and six dots on each face. Uh, so 6 times 20, 120. There's another one. Now I'm going to show you a challenge and it's not quite the same. And I found this one a really interesting one. So thank you Jonathan Hall for this one. How many fives do you see? Now at first I thought I knew how many fives there were. And then I realised there were more. Pause the video. How many fives do you see? Okay, now I'm going to tell you how many fives I saw at first. I thought that there were 25, because how many dice are there? There's 25 dice, and each one is a 5. But then I realised, well, look, this makes a 5 here. This little pattern makes a 5 there, and there's another one there. So there's 5 of the kind of pattern made by the dice. So that must be 30. And then, of course, there's another one, because if we think of this as one block, and this is another block, and so on, then it makes one big pattern of a 5. So in total there, I saw 31 fives. I wonder how many you spotted. So the theme that we've got running over the next few weeks is multiplicative reasoning. So looking at multiplication and division and how they're linked and having lots of deep thinking around them. Today is called connecting calculations because we're going to look at addition and subtraction calculations and see how they're linked to multiplication and division. Now, this won't give you like the easiest way to find answers to questions, but it's more this really important idea in maths of making links between different forms of questions and enjoying making those connections. Have a look at this example here. Here we're going to look at um, addition and subtraction using multiplication and seeing those connections. Um, so let's think about this calculation here. 36 plus 18. Now, is, a, is there a way you can see that you could do that, actually, rather than by adding, but by multiplying? Pause the video and have a think. OK, now, I wanted to show you some pictures that might show the, the, those connections. So, 36 is 6, lots of 6. 18 is 3, lots of 6. So I had to think, mm, I'm looking for a factor of the 36 and the 18. And it's 6. So as a multiplication, 36 plus 18 could be viewed as how many lots of 6? Well, in total, there's 9 lots of 6. Have a think about this one. 45 subtract, subtract 18. Can I see that as a, rep or represent that as a multiplication? Pause the video. What multiplication could it be? What, what factor might join 45 and 18? 
Okay, let's have a look at this one. Well, 45 and 18, actually, a factor they both share is 9. So, 45, how many 9s? 5 9s. 18? 2 9s. So, the difference between 45 and 18 is actually 3 lots of 9. Now, have a look at this grid, and I wonder if you can work out the missing multiplication number sentence for these examples. So the multiplication sentences that match here or the addition or subtraction number sentence that matches to 12 multiplied by 8. There's an example that's been done for you at the top. 12 plus 12 plus 18. Now 6 is a factor of 12 and 18. So 2 6 is there, 2 6 is there, 3 6 is there. So how many 6s in total? 7 6s. Pause the video and see if you can complete the other three examples. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, so for the first example, um, I'd be looking at that in terms of sevens. How many sevens? Um, and we've got eight lots of seven. There is five, then another two lots of seven, and then another seven. So in total, I've got eight lots of seven. 160 subtract 16. Well, if I think of that in terms of how many 16s, 10 16s, and then subtract a 16, that must be equivalent to nine 16s. Now, what about 12 times 8? Th there's a few ways you could see this. You might think of it as 24 less than 120, because 120 is 10 lots of 12, and then I need to take away 2 lots of 12. Or maybe you saw it as, a, as an addition. So um, so let, let's say we looked at it like this. 48 plus 48. So we've got 6 lots of 8 there, and another 6 lots of 8 there, and in total that's 12 lots of 8. Of course, there are other ways you could have seen that as well. Now, let me show you an example that just extends this idea a little bit further. And that might be helpful when you're coming to do some of your questions. Let's say 180 subtract 21. Now, kind of think of an equivalent multiplication number sentence there. And again, I've got to think 180 and 21. And can I think of a, a factor that they both share? So a number that you can multiply by and to get to 21 and 180. Um, and actually, it is 3. So, so 3 times 60 is 180, 3 times 7 is 21. So a multiplication number sentence that will be the same as 180 subtract 21. Well, 53 lots of 3, 3 times 53, because it is 7 lots of 3 less than 60 lots of 3. Mm. A great connection that can be made there between multiplication and addition and subtraction number sentences. And so here's your task for today. If you click on the blue link underneath the video from wherever you're watching the video, it'll bring up this file. And again, you can have a go at task A or maybe task B or even task C. Um, so the task is this. Write the multiplication number sentence that matches with the addition or the addition and subtraction number sentences. So what, what multiplication number sentence could this be here? and fill that in there. Um, and again, there's other examples for task B and task C. The, uh, the answers are at the bottom. Feel free to write your own examples, send them through. Uh, I'd love to include them later in the week. Good luck, enjoy. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to extend this thinking and deepen even further. Great to have you.